Hi guys, I am back with a Dollar Tree haul. So, it is Monday, the 23rd of November, and I am actually getting ready for Thanksgiving. And what I mean by that, um, we're gonna be traveling, um, so we, I'm up early. Hubby and I have a lot of things to do. Hubby is still asleep. But I want to share with you guys a great Dollar Tree haul that I did for my Christmas decor. Um, I'm all set for the Thanksgiving decor. Um, as you know, I did that for fall. So now, as soon as Thanksgiving is over, the next thing I'm going to be trying to do is get ready for Christmas. So I did um, purchase some things from the Dollar Tree, and I want to share with those those with you today. The first thing I purchased was this mailbox. <laughs> uh, I thought this was a real cute little item, and the purpose of this mailbox is um, I'm going to have some family members coming in town, and I'm going to put this beside their bed. And inside, I have some little toiletries. Uh, well, one, as a matter of fact. And that is, I have a body pad. It's green, Christmas color. Also have it here for them, a 2016 planner. And I have some Christmas socks. So, this is just something, oh, oh guys, I did have some uh, Andy mints that I also got for Dollar Tree for them in here, but the hubby just helped himself to those, so um, I'll probably put some peppermints or something back in there. But this is something just to have, let them know, you know, welcome to our home, um, so glad they made it, and actually, you could put something in this box every day if they're staying over, or just their first night there. So yeah, so I got this. I thought it was just a good little welcome gesture. Okay. And I really wanted to find a travel size toothbrush to go in here, but I couldn't find it. So. All right. Also, I purchased these frames. I love these frames. They uh, were at the Dollar Tree, and what I'm gonna do with these frames, I got two here. I'm going to put pictures from Christmas past, and I'm gonna, you know, put them somewhere in the house, not sure where everything's gonna go right now, but I definitely, that is what I plan to do with these picture frames. They're real heavy. You know, I'm trying to figure out, I think they're glass. They, I think they are glass, but they are gorgeous, and I love the shape of them. They kind of have that little, you know, curved shape, so um, I think this would fit in with any Christmas decor, so yeah, pictures from Christmas past will go in there. And I purchased this garland. Uh, it's bold garland. I got two of these. Not sure where I'm gonna put this, but I love garland. You know, we always do the traditional green garland. So I thought that that would be something that I can either incorporate uh, with the garland I already have or hang it somewhere different. I'm not sure where, guys. I may put it around the mirror, in the bathroom. Um, I'll find a place for it. But yeah, I thought this was so cute for garland. I also bought this decorative mesh. Um, I'm gonna just, I, I don't know where I'm gonna use this, but I know I can use this somewhere in the house. And I know that red, I love that red color. Um, also got a candle holder, again, that pretty red color. Um, and it has little specks, you can't see it, but it has little cracks in it. And you know, just enough where you can let the light of the candlelight illuminate from it so it's going to be gorgeous so this is going to go somewhere also in the house again it could be in the bathroom it could be anywhere on my desk i'll find a place for it but yeah just trying to grab these little items while you can because one thing about i noticed with the christmas uh decor it goes 
fast. I mean, it really gets picked over. Um, so you kind of want to just kind of grab that one quickly. Um, also, I got a selfie stick. I went on and bought this. I, I always saw these in the Dollar Tree, but I said, you know, I, I, don't, I don't do selfies that much. However, it's Christmas, so yeah, I'm going to be taking pictures with my grandbabies and um, you know, I remember last year I had to call people to come get the picture of me and dad, come get a picture of me and mama. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, I just tell them come back, we're going to take that picture and you know, just program the camera and it'll take a picture and it works great guys. I've already stuck my camera in here to see how well it works and it works great. Alright, now I also have here these plaques. I love these plaques. This one is like a wintry color and it says Merry Christmas. It's, it has a pretty red ribbon on it. Very pretty plaque. And this one is more Christmassy color, traditional color. And it has Tis the Season to be Jolly. Again, beautiful Christmas colors. So I will definitely put this in the house, not sure where yet, kind of got a good idea where I'm going to put it, but you know, when you start kind of getting the house ready for Christmas, you move all kind of stuff around. And they had wonderful bulbs at the, uh, you know, Christmas ornaments at the Dollar Tree, but um, it has been a tradition for hubby since we've been married. Every year we would buy some Christmas item and a lot of times it would be bulbs. Well, after 20 plus years, 22 years and, um, and counting, you know, you tend to get a lot of stuff. You start to accumulate a lot of stuff. So we don't really buy too much Christmas decoration anymore. Um, it's just a whole lot. As a matter of fact, I'm at the point now I'm ready to kind of get rid of some of it. Um, but... That doesn't mean I can't buy things to add on to the things that I already have. So, I'm now in the kitchen and I picked up dish towels. These kitchen, these kitchen towels have snowmen on them. They say Happy Holidays. Beautiful colors. And again, here are the oven mitts to match. So, uh, this year I think I'm going to try my best to stay with the traditional Christmas colors. I don't know. That's a, that's a plan. You know how that can change every time. Um, but, you know, Christmas can be a little, the holidays can be a little hectic. So, I had to pick up my foot lotion. I know anyone who goes to the Dollar Tree sees this foot lotion with um, tea tree oil. And when I say this is the best, this is the best. I love this stuff. I also have a scrub. So, you know, just to stay on top of relaxing at the end of the day and, you know, staying calm and enjoying your holiday, um, I bought this for hubby for me. If you can, you can get that. This is for him, but it's for, for him to, you know, take care of me. And that is a nice foot rub at the end of the day. Okay. And, um, that is basically it. The only other thing I did get was I bought this vase and I bought this sand. I have two packs of this sand. And the reason why I bought the sand was because um, I'm, I'm going to use this to actually um, do a DIY for my makeup brushes. And, um, I guess you can see where I'm going with this. So I'm gonna be doing this. I got the blue sand to kind of match my bathroom. They all kind of bases they have tall or short ones. I got the shorter one. I thought this was a nice shape. And I'm gonna be doing a DIY for that. So I am gonna go now, guys. It is, like I said, Monday the 23rd of November. We are about, what, three days away from Thanksgiving. So I just wanted to share with you that quick Dollar Tree haul. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is adding, you know, decorating for Christmas. Um, a lot of people put up their tree the day, uh, you know, for, for Thanksgiving. It is our tradition. What we normally do is put it up the day after Thanksgiving. So 
that is what we're going to be doing. Hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, we have so much to be thankful for. And we also need thoughtful and mindful of those who are less fortunate than ourselves. Um, but anyway, guys, be safe and enjoy your Thanksgiving. And I'll see you all in the next video.